Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy again. I'm just doing this little follow-up video and I'll do one later that actually shows more of a visual. But I did a brand new ESC on an FW450 version 3. It's the version 4 ESC. Here's a picture of the V3 that we all have known to come and love. And um, what I want to talk about is while I was rebuilding it, I put it back together. It was a long night, kind of tired, and when I booted up the ESC, the bird started going nuts. The motor was making a different noise, and also the uh, the main rotor would move on its own. You know, it would just rotate. So I knew something was wrong, and plus I didn't like the battery location. Now they swapped it from left to right. So I have to flip my batteries around or extend my wires. So there is differences. Um, I didn't originally buy it stock, so I bought it from someone that crashed it, put it back together, and I put a 2.5 ESC in there. And accordingly, I set up my batteries to plug in the way that one was designed. So this one is like backwards, but not backwards in polarity, but just the way what side the XT360 plug is on. But what I wanted to talk about is this is an H1 Heli. Um, the ones that come pre-built in a box, they come with an H1 light. The differences are there's a lot more programming you can use with this, but the connections are the same. So if you look for this photo, it's actually pretty ra rare how to find the negative, positive, and signal wire. And most flight, uh, flight controllers or even receivers will have this designation. So you just assume when you look at the wires, like Flywings products, they sell an ESC and they sell their servos. But the problem is the wires are all black, but there is one black wire with a white line. Now on the servos, the white line means signal. On the ESC, the white line means negative. But luckily the positive is always in the same place so I was hoping I didn't mess up the flight controller and I will test that in the future probably sometime soon I looked for the H1 manual and I dug through it and I'm thinking to myself they're showing the JR connector here it's a very colorful connector very easy to deal with and like I said it doesn't even show on the side what it means they're just showing you colors so on a JR connector the darker one of course is your negative but it doesn't work out that way on the prefab helis that come in a box ready to fly this is even I just want to show you a picture of a servo of the servos I purchased from the local hobby shop um, they come with a JR connector but in reality, I don't have a picture of one, but if you look at your FW450, the wires are all black. They don't come with a JR connector like this one. And that's why I like the Fataba connectors the best. If you look at the Fataba, they have a fail-safe slot right here. They can only put into Futaba flight controllers and also their receivers one way. And if you notice, black is negative, red is positive, and white is signal. They made it pretty simplified. You go to high tech, they have different colors. Black is negative, red is positive, and yellow is signal. So the red is staying the same between high tech and Futaba. Also with JR, the red is positive, the black is negative, and the orange is the signal. So the signal wires seem to change between products. The one that's had is the Atronics. You don't see them much anymore, but the black, the negative is in the center and black white is a signal, which that's what they're using on the servo for fly wing. And then red is positive, but this is nowhere near any one of these or a fly wing product. And that's why I like the Futaba. It's pretty fail-safe for novice flyers. And this is what we're seeing with the Flywing products. They're mostly novice that 
thought they would never ever be able to try to fly a helicopter, but now they can. And Flywings made it easy. Um, but when these things crash and you have to rebuild, I hope Flywing is listening, but the color-coded wires would be a lot easier for a newbie. I've been doing this for a long time and I screwed up. So what I want to show you here is a picture that I created myself. This is Flywing. This is their ESC wire. Now if you notice, the black with the white line is negative. Black in the center is positive and black all the way to this side is the signal wire. So on the ESC wire I thought the white line meant signal because on this next photo you'll see this is the servo wires they're using the white line for the signal. Black is still in the center for positive and on the other side you have the negative. There is a big difference between a signal and a negative and luckily I didn't blow the, the flight controller the flight controller really started acting up. It was going in and out of receiver power. Um, it was just doing some nasty stuff. Luckily, the positive's in the center, so there's no chance of grounding. If this was an Airtronics, it would have blew that flight controller up. So I hope Flywing is listening. Uh, I mean, they, they're selling their servos as JR connectors, but they're not, and that would be real easy. My new servos came all black wires. But there is a big difference between the servo wire and when you go to the ESC wire, they look identical. But what I did, I was tired. I just followed along with the servo wires because they were already in. And I knew that the blank single wire was the tail, which is the signal. So I should have did the same with the secondary three wire and just put the signal to the bottom and the negative would have been up top and it would have been fine but I hope this helps explain a little bit I'm gonna do a video showing the actual products later and I hope this helps someone out this is Cruise Roy have fun flying and I'm out of here